So this is the other room. Again, you have a little patio. This one is the biggest one. So I want to sit, so I want to dry your clothes. And so the room that I booked, I thought only came with one bed, but it comes with two. So there you go. You can split this and it's only $7 a night. If we split this, it would be $3.50. And then, you know, if you're staying a short period of time, it doesn't really matter that you have no privacy. It comes with two sources of light, which I like. This window here and there's a window there. Like the goldfish French door rooms are really cute and all, but I always feel like they lack privacy because like you're literally usually looking at your neighbor and you, have, you don't have any privacy. How comes on the table and comes to the shelf to store your stuff. And no AC, just a fan, which if you follow me, you know that I'm cool with. This is the bathroom. I like the little skylight. As you could tell, it's an older room. I don't mind that seven dollars it feels very clean it gives you two towels three things of soap extra thing of tissue it already comes with tissue some clothing some hooks so the picture that i did see it was a smaller room with one bed and it came in a desk and honestly the desk is what was my selling point because i work i work online so i love a desk now there's way more rooms to here than all the other places I stayed. So I think they might have different styles of rooms. And I guess it's like first come first serve. If you come here during low season, you have more of a pick of a litter. I think the one with the desk seemed more quaint, more cottagey like, but I haven't seen it in person. So it could just be an older picture that I have online or they have different styles of rooms. This one is fine, but if I come back here, at the moment, this is the best one I found when it comes to everything that I need. It's near town, but not close to the noise. It feels a little bit more like a local neighborhood. It has two sources of lighting film. It's big enough, it feels clean. So if I come back here, I will request the one with the desk and see if, or before I leave, I'll even ask like, do, do you have that room with the desk? So if I come back here, I'll request it if it's available. So out of all of them, even though the first one was like more cute, this one still is, out of the three I've done, been to yet, this one is the best one. And then I'm gonna do another one tomorrow, and then hopefully that's it. And then I'll pick, I'm, I'm comparing it and I'm keeping it at all the same prices. So people on a budget can know they can come here, second. So you can see, just because something is cheaper, doesn't mean it has to be like terrible. If you're coming here for a short time, of course you wanna maybe stay in a really, really nice villa or something. But if you're staying here for a long time and you wanna get a place that it's not gonna break the budget and you can still go out and eat and enjoy yourself, then this is more like it. All right, I'm gonna go and sh I guess I'm gonna shower and then I'm gonna get food or coffee or something, all right. It looks like they also have a, one with an upstairs that might be private or not. I'm not sure, but they do have one with an upstairs. So let's just say, I think they have different style rooms. They have different buildings. Anyway, yeah, so if you come here and you don't want this one and you want the one that you see in a picture with the desk, just ask. So only some people are going to get this reference, but this is a local Indonesian restaurant. This is tempeh, basically, I think fermented soy. This, I don't know what this is, but it tastes like African greens. Like the Nigerian African greens I grew up with, it has this flavor to it, it's so good. And this is a little spicy chutney, very, very delicious. I think it's like a little less than $2. Okay, bye.